Who am I? Are you sure you want to know? <laughs> the year is May 3rd, 2002, and the most amazing movie of all time, Spider-Man 1, has just came to theaters, finally. Um, I still remember every single second of being in that theater, which is so surprising considering how young I was. This movie was just, it meant so much to me, and I'm finally glad I can make a video about this because this is just a movie franchise, just Spider-Man in general, I just love so, so much, and this is going to be pretty awesome. It's crazy to think about how much I remember from those first moments of seeing this movie considering how young I was, but like, that's how much this movie meant to me, even till this day, like, I've never forgotten that experience of just sitting down seeing those names flying across the screen and then the Spider-Man logo showing up. Not only was this movie absolutely awesome, there was so much good merchandise that came out. I remember seeing these cool web shooters and my mom buying me them. And then I literally would run around the house and jump off walls thinking I was Spider-Man shooting them. I don't know if you guys remember these, but these were so, so cool. I also remember going to the grocery store and freaking out the moment I seen this cereal box. Like, you can't tell me this design does not stand out. Like, the eyes was- it looked so cool to me as a kid. I remember my mom just being probably annoyed with me because I kept begging for it every time we would go to the grocery store. I was like, Mom, I need it! I didn't need it, but it looked super cool, and I think it tasted good, but it has been quite a long amount of years since I've tried it, but... One of the reasons why this movie is so loved for and cared for by so many people is because there's lots and lots of memorable scenes, and lots and lots of memes, um... And here are some of the memes that I really liked from this movie that I reference all the time, probably a little too much, but how could I not? These are just way too funny. There really is a lot of memes, and one of the very first ones that starts off in the movie is uh, William Defoe playing Green Goblin, or Norman Osborn, being like, I'm somewhat of a scientist myself, and Peter's like, wow, that's really cool. Great honor to meet you, sir. Harry tells me you're quite the science whiz. You know, I'm something of a scientist myself. <laughs> So in this next scene that I really like a lot, um, we have Norman and this other dude, and they're pretty much doing an experiment on Norman, even though it's not really ready, but Norman said, forget it, I don't want to lose the contract, so you can do it on me, sometimes you gotta take risk, and he just starts convulsing, he's, this man is not having a good time in there, he's dying, the other dude's freaking out, so this kind poor soul sees Norman struggling, so he decides to go in there, and try to give him some CPR, and... Ah, uh, th this happens back to formula. Back to formula. So he pretty much just yeets him out of the glass. So in this next scene that I really like a lot, um, suddenly Peter is like ripped now. Um, I guess getting bit from a spider gives you abs and muscles. So guys, don't work out. Uh, eat as much food as you want. As long as you get bit by a spider, uh, you'll be fine. Just get bit by spiders. Just kidding. D don't do that. <laughs> I'm not condoning that. I mean, if you want them abs, once again, as Norman Osborn says, uh, sometimes you gotta take risk. And then my favorite part of this scene. Change? Yeah. Big change. Well, hurry up! You what?! And then my boy Peter is really, really happy that he can finally climb on a wall, which, I mean, who wouldn't be happy that they can do that? I mean, most of us would be shouting, making this face, you know, who wouldn't? And then my boy doesn't know how to get the web out, so he's like, Fly! Go! Go, web, go! Shazam! Fly! Up, up, and away, Web! Shazam! Go! Go! Go, Web, go! 
So then he finally gets his webs to work and he decides, hey, um, it's not like I tested this or anything. We're gonna test it right now on this roof because that's a good idea. Tally ho. So in one of my favorite parts of this whole movie, Peter wants to make money to impress Mary Jane, and to do that, he has to go into this wrestling ring and last and not get completely destroyed by Bonesaw. Um, my boy Peter is not a very buff dude, not really buff, he's, not, he's, he's really skinny compared to this dude, but he's got powers now, so he can do it. Um, <laughs> and it's, it's pretty funny, there's a lot of moments in this that I just, I really do love, and that's why it's one of my favorites. I love how the lady just looks at him and is like, there's no featherweight division here, small fry. Next. And he's like, no, sign me up. I'll be fine. And his outfit, oh my god, guys. His outfit is the best outfit I've ever seen in my life. So the amazing Bruce Campbell is playing the wrestling announcer. And he just straight up asks, oh, what's your name, kid? And he's like, the human spider. <laughs> and just roast him. He's like, yeah, that's all you got? That sucks. So he gives him his own name, uh, the amazing Spider-Man. What's your name, kid? The Human Spider. The Human Spider, that's it? That's the best you got? Yeah. Oh, that sucks. The sum of three thousand dollars will be paid to the terrifying, the deadly, the amazing Spider-Man! My name's the Human Spider. I don't care, get out there. No, he got my name wrong. Get you out there, tell you moron. <laughs> I feel bad for this poor soul. He's like, oh God, my legs. I can't feel my legs. Which is definitely not stressing Peter out at all whatsoever. I'd be perfectly fine seeing that man screaming and crying. Uh, I, I just go for the fight. It's fine. Oh my God. Oh my legs. Oh God, I can't feel my legs. <laughs> this is why I love the wrestling part of this whole movie is because it's just so many jokes all in one. And then... He darts at Peter, and Peter just jumps up on the little cage. And he's like, what are you doing up there? Staying away from you. What are you doing up there? Staying away from you. And then my boy's like, that's a cute outfit. Did your husband get it for you? That's, hey, Peter, that's, I uh, can't say that anymore, man. That's a cute outfit. Did your husband give it to you? So Peter does a pretty good job in this fight, uh, except for like towards the end, he starts getting like beat up pretty badly and then somehow like starts winning by kicking this man multiple times <laughs> and then he flips him over himself and the guy hits the cage, but I don't understand how that knocked him out because this dude is pretty big, but I mean, he's Spider-Man, he has pretty amazing powers, so I guess he was just strong enough to just... I, I don't know, the power of kicking. So in this next scene after Peter finally defeats Bonesaw, my boy's really happy. And then this scumbag. We all hate this guy. This guy and the pizza lady. Pizza time. I'm not paying for those. But, uh, yeah, he scams him. He's like, well, the wrestling match didn't go as long as it should have, so I'm only giving you this amount. So, eventually, Peter just decides to accept it and walks away. Uh, but then, this man gets what he deserves and gets robbed. <laughs> and then... Uh, eventually goes up to Peter. He's like, why didn't you stop him? And then this amazing line happens. Cut him off in the lobby and call the cops. You could have taken that guy apart. Now he's going to get away with my money. I missed the part where that's my problem. So now we're in the Oscorp building and these guys are pretty much telling Norman that, hey, we're going to need your resignation. Uh, you're done. We're selling the company. What? Yes, Quest Aerospace is recapitalizing in the wake of the bombing. Expanding. The board expects your resignation in 30 days. But you can't do this to me. 
I started this company. You know how much I sacrificed? I don't know why I like this scene so much as well, but they're all having like a little Oscorp parade thing going on. Everyone's having a wonderful time, and then the Green Goblin shows up and blows up this like one side of this building, and it starts like crumbling down, and Mary Jane's about to fall. And Harry, my boy, is so useful that he goes to reach out for, her, and then immediately this happens. Out, am I? I feel bad for this one dude who's just minding his own business trying to get away from all this and the Green Goblin and Spider-Man are fighting and then he gets hit into this metal like bar thing and it just whacks this guy. Hey yo, the pizza here! <laughs> My ears burn! So after Spider-Man gets the upper hand on the Green Goblin, he saves Mary Jane and then lands her up onto this rooftop. And then I remember seeing this meme millions of times, but it's it's still pretty funny. Wait! Who are you? My name is Jeff. Now we're in the Daily Bugle and the Green Goblin decides to just break in and be like, Hey, tell me where the photographer is that takes pictures of Spider-Man. And Spider-Man eventually does show up and completely nuts on J. Jonah Jameson's mouth, I guess, uh, to shut him up and then says this. He's the one who can bring me to it. I don't know who he is. You are useless. You Set him down, tough guy. <laughs> Speak to the devil! Spider-Man! I knew you two were in this together! I knew hey kiddo, mm -hmm. let mom and dad talk for a minute, will ya? I don't know why more people don't talk about this scene because I find it pretty funny. It's like right when uh, Spider-Man passes out from the sleeping gas that the Green Goblin used on him. He just straight up just hits him in the head and I find it way too funny. Because it's right. <laughs> bro, please, bro! Why are you do? So in this next part, we have a big fire going on. Everyone's freaking out. And of course, my boy Peter has to go save the day. So he goes in there. And I don't know why. Like, this scene was just kind of funny to me. But also, it was supposed to be like a jump scare back in the day. Like, oh my god, you think this poor woman is crying. Oh no. And then it's actually just the Green Goblin just smacks him. He's like, yeet, get out of here. I'm gonna get you out of here. It's okay. Pathetically predictable. So in this next scene, we have Peter finally showing up to this big dinner that everyone's having. And then he's like, hey everyone, I had to beat an old lady with a stick to get this. Hey everyone. Oh, Peter. Hey. Sorry I'm late, it's a jungle out there. I had to beat an old lady with a stick to get these crabs. <laughs> had enough yet? I'll stop you. I'm ready when you are. Now we're going to be talking about the designs of the Spider-Man costume and the Green Goblin costume and pretty much just my thoughts because they did such a good job with these costumes, especially Spider-Man's. Like, I've always loved this since I was a kid and I've always wanted to dress up as this version of Spider-Man because the 3D printed webs, just everything is so, so amazing. And I go to cons, like comic conventions and all kinds of different stuff, and this would be such a cool costume to do at a comic con. Imagine how many photos you would get. It's just like... This has to be done someday for me, because this is wonderful looking. I still feel like this outfit holds up pretty well, even till this day, like, compared to the newer Spider-Man stuff. Like, the Amazing Spider-Man, I know everyone, like, really does not like that outfit. Um, they tried to go for more of a realistic approach to him making his outfit, which, yeah, I guess that was fine, because I, it doesn't really make sense how Peter would make such an amazing outfit, which I don't think he has any sewing skills or anything like that, but... I, I try not to look into it too much, it's just whatever, but I, I still think this is the best outfit, even with, like, Tom Holland's Spider-Man, like, I, I love his outfit, it looks wonderful, but I, I still, this will always be my favorite Spider-Man outfit, no matter what, it's just, it's too perfect. Let me know in the comments what outfit of Spider-Man's is your favorite, because I really do love reading through comments and just finding out what outfit you like the most, um... But yeah, for me, once again, it will always be uh, Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man. Uh, I just love that outfit so much. Um, Tom Holland is another, like, amazing one. Uh, same with, like, the Amazing Spider-Man. I really don't think that outfit is bad. 
um, and I know a lot of people just despise it, but I don't think it's that bad. Now we're going to be talking about the Green Goblin's outfit in this movie, and I absolutely love it. Um, I think they did a really good job with the armor, the mask, everything. Um, it is a little different from the comic book, but I feel like they did really pull this off, and I, I just really like it. Um, I feel like this would be another really cool costume to do at a convention because this, who wouldn't want to do this? This looks amazing. Um, yeah, I seen one picture where they changed the colors around as well, which actually made it look even better. And now I kind of wish they would have did that, but it still looks cool. Um, and yeah, I'm a, I'm a huge fan of this outfit. One of the things that Green Goblin had that I've always, always wanted to make was the little pumpkin bombs that he has. Those are so cool. Imagine making that for cosplay. Like, I've never seen anyone ever dress up as this or do anything like that. And that's why I'm like, I really, really want to do this someday. It's probably a dream cosplay of mine. That and Spider-Man um, from this movie. Um, and I know he has those blade ones too that he throws, which look really amazing as well. Uh, but yeah, people sell these on Etsy and I'm like, I kind of want to buy one now. <laughs> it's making me want one. Comparing these to the comic book version of the pumpkin bombs, I'm still a way bigger fan of the movie version because I just, I don't know what it is that I love about these things so much that fascinated me as a kid, but that and the ones with the blades on them were just so, so cool. Um, as I said, one day if I ever cosplay, th I, I gotta make all this stuff, I gotta try to do it because this would be so cool to do. One of the other things that I really love about the Green Goblin is his glider. I love that thing so much. I remember being a kid and being like, I want to be on that so badly. Um, it was nice that they added like a little missile launcher and machine gun stuff on it. Um, and the blade that kind of just ends the Green Goblin. Um, but yeah, that is absolutely amazing. And that's why, like, the Green Goblin is definitely one of my favorite villains in Spider-Man. So yeah, that pretty much wraps up the video. I had so much fun with this. You guys have literally no idea how fun this was for me. Um, if there is any other type of Spider-Man content that you guys would like to see me do, please comment down below, and I would gladly love to make more content of Spider-Man. Um, No Way Home is about to come out very, very soon, and I'll probably be doing a video on that, just giving my thoughts on how the movie was and everything. Um, and I have some videos of me playing the Spider-Man games as well, so that lots of Spider-Man content for the channel. Um, and I'm really excited to upload all these. And yeah, if you like the video, hit that liggity like, and if you're new, give it a sippity sub. It really does mean a lot. And thank you for making it this far in the video. Um, once again, I just had so much fun with this. And yeah, until the next video, keep being frogs.